Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to a Thursday afternoon edition of Whiteboard Weather. Here comes the rain again. <laughs> it rolled in this morning and hasn't left since. <laughs> Isn't this a dandy little day outside? Now, to be fair, we haven't had too many days like this in the last few months. Um, where we've lost an entire day to rain. We've lost parts of days, but not from sunrise to sunset. Uh, and for those people that depend on wells to provide them water, uh, this certainly is a, a welcome rainfall. Rainfall amounts are probably checking in around seven-tenths of an inch in many locations thus far. And there's still some more on the way, but uh, I think we're more than halfway done, if that's a consolation. Um, and I'm going to show you radar in a moment. It looks like the, the steadiest rains will be lightening up, scattering out, and tapering off uh, as we head toward this evening. It's still going to be damp, uh, and there still will be some rain around at times, but it probably won't be the steady rain that we've endured thus far this afternoon. So that's... Uh, that's certainly good news. Um, it's, did I mention it's October 29th? I don't remember if I did. It, if I didn't, I'll set it again. So, And thanks for joining this afternoon. We are nearing the finish line of what we can call whiteboard weather. Um, so uh, today will likely be our last afternoon of whiteboard weather. Uh, and tomorrow will be our last morning of whiteboard weather. I will let you know there will still be these types of Q&A interactions, weather updates, uh, but they will come under some sort of different title that I'll have to come up with. Um, so, just FYI. Uh, and also, the website pittsburghweathernow.com will be going away. Uh, as of Saturday as well. So get to the website while you can uh, before it it goes dark, as they say, in the interweb world. I think that's what they say. Anyway. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's get to it. I got a lot of information for you today, really. Um, the current weather situation, not so good, but the long-range weather situation is much better. Before we get into all that information, how about we get into this? They've been a sponsor for quite some time. You hear me talk about them, and it really would be a good time to act sooner rather than later and head to Wetgo at GetGo. Get yourself enrolled in the unlimited wash program as we head into the dreary month season in Western Pennsylvania. The current bargain they're offering is you buy your first month, you get your second month for free with plans starting as low as $14.99 a month. That is $14.99. dot or niner. Spread that out over two months. That's $7.50 a month for unlimited car washes. And it's truly unlimited. Wash every day, twice a day, three, however many times you want to go to the car wash, you can. It's truly unlimited. Available at all 40 plus wet go locations across the area. Simple and easy, sign up online, get your tag at any wet go, then you roll up to the car wash, you scan it, and you slide right through, you come out crystal clean on the other side. No contract is required, you can cancel at any time. It is wet go at get go, it is the unlimited wash program. What are you waiting for? I'm not just a spokesperson for it, I am an unlimited wash subscriber myself. Here's a look at current conditions. Very unpleasant outside. Now, I call it dreary. I call it drizzly. I call it miserable. I call it drizzerable, and that would be a good word for today. Temperatures haven't moved much all day, holding steady in the upper 40s to near 50, with light rain falling across the board. A little bit of a northerly wind at about 8 to 10 miles an hour. Isn't it just a peach outside today? <laughs> so uh, that's the current situation. Now there will be improvement. 
Uh, we'll get to the surface map in a moment. First, I want to show you radar very quickly. As you would expect, most of you reporting in that it's raining outside your window. But uh, take a look back here across Ohio. This is as of what, about five after three this afternoon. Uh, the steadiest rain looks like it is tapering off a bit. So it looks like we will get into a period of more, shall we say, hit and miss, scattered showers as we head toward late afternoon and early evening. There's still going to be some rain around. It's just not going to be this steady, widespread swath that we've seen thus far today. Now, here's a look at what's happening on the surface map. You got low pressure to the south. That is the remnant low of what was once Zeta, and that is racing off to the north and east, and that has somewhat enhanced our rainfall, especially the coverage across the area this afternoon. This evening and overnight tonight, that area of low pressure quickly moves away. The rain showers will be tapering off and coming to an end. This is Friday morning, and you can see we're to the backside of the precipitation. By Friday afternoon, here comes high pressure building on in. Should get some clearing skies, if not by the end of the daytime period tomorrow, certainly tomorrow night. And then Saturday, which is Halloween, it looks <laughs> spooktacular, my friends, with high pressure in control. A quick check of the long-range outlook. I shared this earlier, at least a photo. I wanted to explain it a little better. This is after, uh, say, Tuesday of next week. You can see the big A across Ohio, that is a high likelihood of above average temperatures through the middle part of the month. So after a little chilly stretch early next week, it looks like we will see probably a stretch of seven to 10 days with above average temperatures and below average precipitation. This is the precipitation map. That B and that tan shading indicates strong likelihood of below normal precipitation. So it looks like after Tuesday of next week, we're going to get into a warmer than normal and drier than normal stretch through the middle part of the month. So that is a look at uh, sort of the long range trend. Uh, if you want to look that far down the line, just gives you an idea as to how the pattern will play out over the longer range. Today, let's hit up some national days, and then I'll hit you up with the whiteboard. National days today. National Cat Day today. If you're an owner of a feline, today is a day to celebrate uh, your cat. Uh, oatmeal. National Oatmeal Day today, and National Hermit Day today. And what a day to be a hermit. You just kind of cuddle up with a blanket by yourself somewhere and just eh, shut out the rest of the world for a little, little time. It's National Hermit Day today. Born on this day, remember uh, th Charlie's Angels? Jacqueline Smith had a birthday a few days ago. Today is Kate Jackson's birthday. She was on Charlie's Angels as well. I was a fan. Um, who do you have? Kate Jackson, Jacqueline Smith, and Farrah Fawcett. That was a dynamic trio. Uh, Winona Ryder, the actress, has a birthday today. Uh, the late artist Bob Ross, birthday today. And actor Richard Dreyfuss, uh, known for many things, but he's always well known for his, uh, his role in the movie Jaws. Um, he played in that movie and very well. All right, let's, uh, let's get you to the whiteboard, then a couple of extra announcements at the end, so stick around. Here is your Thursday afternoon whiteboard, simply accurate, no hype, and consolidated a bit today on a Smaller whiteboard. I've broken things down, but as always, we are brought to you this Thursday afternoon by Wetgo at GetGo. It's a wet go outside today, and you can get yourself into a wet go once the rain clears out. Get yourself cleaned up for the weekend. Check out that unlimited wash program. Tonight, 40 degrees, patchy fog, showers will be tapering off, especially late tonight. I think the most of the moisture is going to be gone before the sun comes up tomorrow morning. Outside of a spotty early morning sprinkle, I think we'll continue to see a fair amount of clouds, but I wouldn't be surprised to see the skies brightening up tomorrow afternoon for maybe a few peaks of sunshine, 49 the high temperature. Tomorrow night, fair and cold. It's going to be dry 
but chilly for Friday night high school football, 32, the low temperature. Halloween, spooktacular, mostly sunny skies and 52 degrees. If you have trick-or-treating on Saturday, it should be great, a little cool, but it's going to be dry and it should be fine for the kids. And then Sunday is the day we fall back Saturday night into Sunday morning. It's going to be breezy with a chance of a shower as we get into the afternoon. 54 will be the high temperature. So it's going to stay on the cooler side of normal through the weekend. But as I mentioned, longer range, it's looking like a little bit of a warm up by the middle part of next week. So that's a look at your Thursday afternoon whiteboard brought to you by Wetgo at GetGo. Now, uh, as I mentioned, uh, fall back. These are a couple extra announcements I want to make and FYI. Uh, fall back this weekend, one hour, Saturday night into Sunday morning. Boy, if ever there was a day when, when stuff is going to go sideways and people are going to be acting weird, it's this Saturday. You have a lot of natural forces at play. First, it's Halloween. Second, you have a full moon on Halloween, and not just any full moon, the second full moon in October. It is the full hunter's blue moon, um, and also we have this time change thing. So there's a lot of forces coming together on Saturday night. Just saying. Anyway, uh, so that's uh, some of what's uh, coming up. Um, and also, um, if you're a fan of uh, Penn State or Ohio State, they play each other this Saturday night in Happy Valley. Weather's going to be great for that as well. No worse than partly cloudy and cool, but good football weather in Happy Valley for the game Saturday night. Uh, that is going to do it for today. I will be here tomorrow morning for... Uh, the final wake up whiteboard weather um, before we can no longer call it whiteboard weather. Uh, but I'll be here tomorrow morning with your weather breakdown, your Friday morning funnies. So be sure to tune in uh, for that. Uh, and always uh, the tiebreaker coming up on Friday where I let you voice your opinion about which tie to wear this weekend on WT. Also, one final note for those of you that have asked uh, about my Halloween attire, the pumpkin jacket. I'm sorry to say that uh, the pumpkin jacket uh, will not be permitted on television this Saturday night. That doesn't mean it won't be worn on social media. So, be on the lookout for that. We'll get, the, we'll get the Halloween attire out there, whatever means necessary. Um, I, just, I just need to do it. But I, I, it's not permitted on television on Saturday night. So, just wanted to let you know that. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your Thursday, everyone. Uh, I will see you tomorrow morning. Wake up whiteboard weather and Friday morning funnies, the best worst dad jokes that we'll have a Halloween theme. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Peace. Have a good one.